Brand new data and reports show that Nintendo is absolutely crushing it with Nintendo Switch. And that makes me super happy because thus far, Delaypocalypse has cast a bit of a bummer and a blight on 2020. Yes, those delayed games that got pushed out of Q1 and Q2 will eventually be the better for it, but you can't deny it's a bit of a downer that the games you were looking most forward to are no longer coming out anytime soon. So it's great that Nintendo is double dashing its way to extreme, absurd, crazy success with Nintendo Switch clearing 52 million consoles sold. That places the system in third place all time amongst the Nintendo greats, only trailing Wii and NES as it recently eclipsed the Super Nintendo in such a short time. Now the data isn't as concrete, but it also looks like Switch has passed Xbox One lifetime sales in way fewer months. Very impressive. The numbers across the board are outstanding. The games are insane. 310 million pieces of Switch software, including 22 million units of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, 17 plus of Smash, 16 plus of Mario Odyssey. Hey, Pokemon Sword and Shield, which at one point seemed like it was gonna be a disaster given the National Dex nonsense, has sold over 16 million units already. It is so close to passing the best-selling 3DS Pokemon title, which is incredible, and it's gonna clear it very, very quickly. Luigi's Mansion 3, over 5 million copies, which is awesome for a single-player focused Switch title and shows the power of the green plumber. The Switch Lite itself, 5 million units, which is impressive and shows that the Switch audience is being expanded by the Switch Lite, not just doubling down, if you know what I mean. We could go over the numbers all day, but this isn't math class, so let's talk about some of the interesting themes and one that I think is being overlooked, because alongside the great sales figures, Nintendo also noted that their digital sales thanks to their eShop and Nintendo Switch Online, have improved 48% year over year. That is a big gain. And when you look at where the rest of the industry is going, things that Microsoft has done as of late, subscription models and services, it's intriguing to say the least. Now we all know that Nintendo Switch Online isn't phenomenal, but it is cheap. Man, could they make it phenomenal if they ever did a Nintendo Game Pass. They've got so much nostalgia, so many titles. Don't get me started on why Virtual Console has not appeared as of yet. They're just trickling out the titles on NES and SNES, which, by the way, I snagged one of those controllers. They sold out so fast. The Switch SNES controllers went up today for a brief moment, and boom, they're gone. I'm so sorry if you missed them. They were there for a brief period of time. I grab one because that's like my favorite old school Nintendo console, but maybe one day we'll have N64 and GameCube on the system. A Nintendo Game Pass would, would change the game, but for now they don't have it. The Switch Online, $20 a year, it's still a good deal. There is lag. There's not a lot of features. But Nintendo themselves are saying that digital sales, thanks to contributions from Nintendo Switch Online, their total money have improved 48% in that space. I guess the real question is, have you bought into Nintendo Switch Online, or what would it take for you to subscribe? Or would you rather just have a Nintendo Game Pass? Would you be more apt to pay monthly for access to NES, SNES, N64, GameCube, maybe Game Boy and Game Boy Advance, than you would a Switch Online? Or do you think the Switch Online needs something more? Do you think it needs themes? Do you think it needs better performance? Do you think it needs better communication features? What would it take to get you to buy into this program that clearly Nintendo views as important and impactful. They've said as much. They've said that, hey, we want to continue to increase the value of Switch Online. We think that the digital side of things is an important piece of our puzzle. And it's interesting because it's obviously not as much of a focus and it's obviously not as overarching of a plan, but without saying the same things as Microsoft, they're kind of maybe building a similar system, right? You have the Switch, the Switch Lite, and then if they do the rumored Switch Pro, all the games will work across this family of Switch consoles. A subscription could also work across the family of consoles with all the games and the accessories. And then it doesn't matter if you have the Switch Lite, which is portable only. It doesn't matter if you have the OG Switch, which is what we fell in love with. Or if you have the hardcore gamer-focused Switch Pro, because everything works across the board. In the same way that Microsoft has announced, they want their games to play on Xbox One, S, X, Series X, and PC. It's a mouthful, but it is where the industry is moving. So I'll be curious to see if Nintendo is able to make the moves to stay up to date or whether they will more and more fall behind. We know that Switch Online isn't what PSN or Xbox Live is, but with how much success they're having and how much money they're bringing in, maybe they'll make some moves that are in a forward-thinking direction.
It's also interesting and important to note that nearly every single one of Nintendo's temple first party titles ends up being a huge success. Link's Awakening cleared 4 million units releasing in September. Heck, Ring Fit Adventure passed 2 million, and that's really impressive for a game that costs well above $60 and focuses on fitness, but they made it fun enough to work. Fire Emblem Three Houses approaches 3 million. Super Mario Maker 2 is the oddball of the bunch because it sounds like a success at just over 5 million, and yet some may call it a strange disappointment because it sold less than Luigi's Mansion 3 in double the time. Everyone anticipated a sequel to Mario Maker with insane fervor, but maybe they didn't really want the same game twice with some extras. Because even New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe has sold more than Mario Maker 2, which on paper seems insane. It makes sense when you look into the nitty gritty. It also released in January as compared to June. But if you told me that at the end of 2019, Luigi's Mansion 3 and New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe would sell more than Mario Maker 2, I'd say you were insane. But I guess it shows that Nintendo knows what's up, and I guess it shows an interesting trend in a different direction. Maybe players just want to play great games and they don't really want to create more Mario levels as we thought. Remember the era when a maker game in every franchise was what we wanted most? Perhaps that ship has sailed. So in totality, software is absolutely killing it, hardware is absolutely killing it, and digital sales are powering Nintendo to still be a major player in a year when they don't have a true next-gen console. Although, they might love to wait and see if the Switch Pro becomes a reality because that would take things in an even more intriguing direction. Although the digital stuff is very interesting to me. Would Nintendo ever consider going the Microsoft route and introducing their own Game Pass, given that they are establishing a family of consoles where physical titles, digital titles, and subscription titles could work across the board for a wide variety of gamers. They've already got insane name recognition. They've already got insane success. They've already got more systems out there than Xbox, so it's something to think about. Give me your take in the comments down below. How do you feel about all these sales figures? I'll put a link in the description if you want to read every single number. It's pretty interesting stuff. And let me know what it would take for you to subscribe to Switch Online, what you want to see out of their digital online efforts in the coming months and years, since it is a priority for Nintendo and maybe, maybe they'll make some smart moves. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you did. Until next time, Switch Force.